Hey guys, this is Blake with the Three Hand Hunter channel and welcome to another look at a very rare and very unique piece. This is the Manchester Watchworks Windsor. Now, before I go on, I just wanted to say, if you guys like seeing watches that you're not gonna see on every other YouTube channel, I mean, I, I obviously I'll bring on some watches that might be the same as some others, but you know, I'm trying to just bring you some more rare pieces that you might not see all the time and take a really good look at them, dig into the history a little bit. If you like that type of content, please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you like it. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm trying to grow the channel and you know, take you on my personal watch journey and I hope you're enjoying the ride. So um, let's take a look at this watch. Now, this is not my first Manchester watch works. Matter of fact, on my wrist, I have the 62 MAS recreation. This is the original uh, 62 MAS that was created before any other watch company, even Seiko, it's argue, you could argue that it's even before Seiko released their SPB 143, I believe is the, the model number. Anyway, that's not the watch I wanna talk about, but I will bring up that watch again because I wanna just show you some of the specifics about this watch. But as you can see, this is a very close reference and you know homage to a Panerai luminor or radio mirror and in you know in my past uh years ago which you know I, i'm kind of bummed out about this and I'll, I'll tell you i owned a panerai radio mirror black seal um i owned it back when i want to say about 10 years ago when panerai was really really at its peak of popularity maybe 10 or 11 years ago and i owned one and i really enjoyed it but it was a 44 millimeter watch and it was a little big it was a little flashy and it was the radio mirror, so it wasn't, it, it didn't have any brush surfaces. It was all polished like this. And at the time I'm like, meh, you know, I, I had it, got rid of a Breitling for it. And um, then, you know, I got rid of that, got an IWC and then, you know, started on more of a micro brand and uh, Seiko journey over the last, I don't know, eight or 10 years. But I do love the case shape. I love cushion case watches. They're really, really, fun, comfortable, and very unique. And Manchester Watchworks, um, unfortunately, let me tell you a little bit about them from what I can find. And th there's very limited data. If you look at their Facebook page, they have not been around since or have not posted since 2019. Um, there was a gentleman by the name of Mr. Kim, apparently. And, and correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys know anything more than me, please comment. I don't I don't ever profess to be a watch expert. I'm just an enthusiast. And, you know, I search around and I take a look around and I read forums, um, but I don't have all the information. So, you know, please comment down below if you know anything more about this particular watch than I do. I'd love to hear it. And I'm sure other people that are watching this watch review would love to see it as well. Anyway, um, you know, they're, they're, they were out of, uh, Manchester Watchworks was out of Vermont and uh, in, in the United States. And um, you know, from what I can tell, there was a few late models that he did. I think one was called the Rattler, then he did an, another iconic. And this one, I'm not too sure what year the Windsor came, but it was after the iconic one, which I'll show you here some images of the iconic one, which was very, very close to a Panerai look. Now, going back to the Windsor, um, you'll notice a lot of differences between this. This is not so much a direct homage to the Panerai, um, but it is really, you know, a very, very comfortable and unique K shape. Now, I do want to say that, and I'm going to show you the dimensions here. Let's uh, let's take a quick look. You know, if you look at the dimensions of the watch, this is a very comfortable, you know, 42 millimeters. Now it wears smaller than that. It wears closer to, I would say, closer to a 40. 40 millimeter, but it's like 41 and a half, 42 millimeters. The lug to lug distance is 47, I believe. Yeah, 47.8. And the thickness with this huge sapphire crystal is 13.3. You can see it's got a really thick, beautiful sapphire crystal. Um, it does have 22 millimeter lug width. You can see 22 millimeter, okay? So um, because there's so much dial, this watch actually wears 
I would say probably more like a 40 or 41 millimeter. It's a very comfortable wearing watch. And because of the cushion shape, cushion meaning that it, it, you know, it, it's, it starts wider and it comes in around the sides, around the case, it wears very comfortable, even with this huge crown. Now take a look at this crown. This crown's pretty actually amazing. It is an eight millimeter crown. And look at the knurling on this crown. Take a look at the knurling. It's etched with the Manchester Watchworks logo. Um, it's got this great screw down crown, uh, 200 meters of water resistance. It's got an NH35, so it's very you know reliable. You know you can swap out the movements pretty quickly. And if you look at the case back, it's got a solid case back. And it's got all the pertinent information um, that you would see there. I threw it on a um, on a leather strap with a with a deployment buckle, and it wears really comfortably. And I have to say, after owning this watch for a while and wearing it, it is a very comfortable watch. Now it's not everybody's taste. Not everybody wants a you know a sport watch without that's not a diver. But you know I've got so many divers in my collection. It's something rather unique. Um, it is all polished. Now check this out. This is something else that's really cool. Do you see the uh, do you see the lug holes? And you notice the little screws in the lug holes? Those are faux screws. This is actually these are actually pin bars or excuse me. Well, they're pin bars inside the watch right now, but these are actually faux screws which is nice. Um, I've actually, because I own the radio mirror, it had the, the wire lugs and uh, I've known people that had the luminor with the, with the, um, you know, drilled lug, well, with the lug holes, with the, um, the bar, the screw bar that goes through. And I've, you know, heard those coming loose before. And it's kind of nice. You, you have that look, but these are actually pins inside. So if you have a quick release strap, it's going to be really convenient. Um, what else can I say about this watch? One of the, you know, one of the things I don't like about it, and I'm just going to nitpick a little bit here. First of all, the loom is like a BGW9 maybe. It's like a bluish loom. I'll show you some loom shots. It's not that powerful. Um, the indices, you can see they're raised on the dial, right? But the numerals are kind of small, so it, it's a departure from the Panerai. One of the unique features of like the Panerai, whether you're looking at the radio mirror, or the Luminor, is those numerals are really big, very easy to read. Another thing I don't really care for about this watch, one other like nitpick I would say, is the date wheel. Obviously, I don't mind a date wheel at six o'clock, three o'clock, even four o'clock. I know some people just loathe having watches with the date wheel at four o'clock. I don't even mind, but when it's not matching to the dial, uh, and it's obvious like it is here. That's the one thing I, I say I would say from a design cue that I don't really care for in this particular watch because it's not framed. It's just a white blob, which, you know, it's obviously in the same spot or, you know, close to the same spot as where the six would be. But that's something that, you know, I, I didn't really care for a whole lot about this particular uh, Windsor model. But it came up on my radar. Well, Manchester Watchworks are those watches that are always on my radar because they made such great homages over the year and years and their build quality is amazing for what you get. Um, if you missed the the 62 MAS um, review that I did of this Manchester Watchworks, like the we, I called it the OG of 62 MAS recreations. The build quality on this watch is amazing. It really is. It's and and it's got an NE15, I believe. It's uh, it's got the 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 it's like the 6R um, equivalent, I I guess. It's got a longer power reserve, but it's uh, you know this is an amazing watch, and I wasn't disappointed by this watch. There's a few design things that I you know after owning it, you know like the date the the date. Um, wheel not being black and not not being framed a couple little nitpicky things like that that I, I I kind of you know wish wasn't the case but this watch is the build quality is amazing and that I was not disappointed with 
And if you're looking for something that's a Panerai equivalent for a f something with that look, for a fraction, I'm talking a tenth or less fraction of the price, hunt down one of these Manchester watch works, whether it's the iconic one, the Windsor. These watches are very hard to come by. They are, you, they are obviously out of production. Finding one is gonna be very difficult, but if you find one, you're not gonna be disappointed with the way it's built and the way it looks. Um, you know, obviously, if you get one that's, uh, that's pre-owned, that's been beat up all, to all get out. This one has you know, a few scuffs on the side from, on the polish, but those could be polished out. It's a pure, it's, it's a, you know, aside from the case back, it's a you know, completely polished case. Um, but I just wanted to show this to you guys because, you know, as I mentioned, this is not my first Manchester Watchworks watch. And it's a shame if, you know, you, you have some of these micro brands that made, and they've been around since micro brands really hit the scene. You know, the, the, the Manchester Watchworks has been making watches, had been making watches for years before a lot of these micro brands nowadays have popped up. And it's a shame when they, you know, they disappear. And, and when it's a one man show or one person show, it, you can see, you know, how easy it is to, you know, say, all right, I've, I've done it, I've made a few, and, you know, other things pop up in life where, you know, you can't continue. But then you are left with some amazing timepieces that you just can't find. You gotta hunt around for like I do. <laughs> so hopefully you guys have really enjoyed this uh, review of the Manchester Watchworks Windsor. Um, like I said, if you can find one, a Manchester Watchworks watch, I think they're, the build quality is, from what I've seen and what I've held, they're pretty amazing little timepieces. And guys, if you made it this far, let me introduce myself. My name is Blake. I'm a bit of a watchaholic, and if you've made it this far, I'm gonna assume you are one too. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys and gals on the next video. Have a great day.